Hello all, welcome to a new video. In this video, we're going to talk about Google Cloud Platform, some of its basic, and navigate its UI. Let's start with what is Google Cloud Platform. Google Cloud Platform is a service offered by Google. It's a cloud computing service. It includes a range of hosted services like compute, storage, and application development, which runs on Google's hardware. This hardware is what Google use internally also to run, it, run its own services like Google Search and AdWords. Google Cloud services can be divided into the following categories like compute, management, networking, storage databases, big data, identity and security, and machine learning. For our course, we are gonna talk majorly about big data and storage and database. So now let's navigate to the UI and let's learn a bit more how to navigate in the space of Google Cloud Platform. If you have created a free account, you would see $300 or 300 euros credit here and you would be navigated to this page. Google Cloud Platform generally works in terms of projects. You can create a new project here or use an existing project which comes as default. To navigate Google Cloud Platform, we have different methods. One way can be through the drop down here, where we will see all the services grouped into different categories like compute, serverless, storage. For our use case, let's go into cloud storage and let's look at some of its content. In our cloud storage, we have created a bucket called NYC DL data which contains all the data which we are interested in for the New York taxi rides. The bucket or the cloud storage is similar to what you have in AWS S3. So as we see, we have some number of files uh, in our bucket, and this is a very easy way to navigate to our cloud storage. Another important and interesting way to navigate is to use the search bar. As I have typed BigQuery here, we can see and navigate to BigQuery. For our use case, we have created a data set called Taxi Rides NY, and we have a couple of data sets inside it. For, for, our, uh, for this, we have created two tables called Green Trip Data 2019 and Yellow Trip Data 2019. Maybe when you navigate to your BigQuery, you, would not, you might not see these tables generated for you. As we progress in the course, we will generate these tables uh, with you, and then you can see a similar structure 